Thank you so much for being here, Amber, to talk about the Youth Graffiti Cleanup Project. Thanks for having me. This year, the project usually is done around different locations in the community since this is an annual sort of project. So why did you choose the location this year? How did you do that? This year is going to be the back of Giant Tiger. Um, it's another mural downtown. So um, it has extensive graffiti on it. And that's one of the number one things we look for. It, and also um, it has a, it's very visual. It faces the movie theater parking lot and um, it's a very busy spot in downtown. This year, the mural, of course, I read a bit on it from what we got. It's going to have some mental health awareness depictions and poppies. How does it, it how is it decided what the mural is going to depict? Every year is a little different. Uh, there's a few factors. I guess that it has to be, um, it has to be easy enough for the youth to do. Um, so sometimes there's um, meaning behind it and sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's just fun. Uh, this year, we do have some symbolism going on. So like you said, we have uh, some imagery from the mental health navigation tool. Uh, we have some poppies, some tiger lilies, some wild rose, and we also have some sweet grass. So just uh, representing a, a couple things, Canadian things. Um, and then we have a youth there. Um, and really, um, all all the aspects are fairly oversized, except for the youth. And it kind of shows that um, for, for someone that's young, the world is a big place to live and there's lots of opportunity. Have many people um, signed up to volunteer already on Thursday? Uh, we have a few youth groups actually uh, participating. So the Lloydminster Community Youth Center, uh, the Native Friendship Center's youth group, uh, youth council, and and some others that are thinking about it. So the youth are, are our main goal is to get the youth uh, participating in in community, and then we have we have a few adult volunteers too that are helping out. I noticed in the email that if you're lost, you can also look for the Home Depot tent or the Home Depot. Yes. So is there going to, is there sponsorship for the event from businesses? The Home Depot is huge every year. I think it's been going on for about six years and they've been our sponsor for all the paint and supplies every year. And then this year, uh, the Downtown and Area Redevelopment Committee is sponsoring the pizza for the kids that we, we usually spoil them a little bit with pizza and pop after every event. And I saw in the email there's going to be other events planned in the upcoming months as well. Yes, so this is an all summer long project. It happens every two weeks on, on Thursdays. Um, and just because it, it does take a long time and we don't expect the youth to work for eight hours straight. So, so we, do, we do about an hour and a half um, every second week on Thursdays until the end of August. Do you have like a stencil of what the finished project will hopefully look like? I do. I want it to be a little bit of a surprise. Um, we have a couple community artists as well helping to sketch out uh, the mural. So, the, they'll help sketch it out and the kids will help scrub off the graffiti and paint it in. So at the end, when it's all done, there'll be sort of a reveal of the project. People are welcome to stop by and check out the progress every two weeks because there'll be new, new things up and it'll be a work in progress all summer. How do you think these events over the last while and this one is impactful to the community? It's huge. Um, when you have an area that's uh, specifically tagged um, quite a bit, it's, it's like a broken window effect, right? Um, if there's a warehouse with no broken windows, it's less likely to get graffiti or get a window smash. But if there's even one, then it, it happens over and over and over again, right? Um, so that's a big thing for people downtown or in any business. If you do get tagged, clean it up right away. Um, and then it, it just beautifies our community. It, it makes it a place of, of art and culture and, and it's welcoming.
the youth who participate in these events, what do you think they learn from it? What do they take away? If you are going to be a contributor to the community, uh, it's huge to start young, right? Um, it, it builds confidence. It builds connectiveness, networking. Um, they, they have a sense of pride and really they can, 25 years from now, it'll still be there and they can point and say, hey, I did that. Thank you again so much for joining me today, Amber, to talk about this event. Thank you so much for having me.